Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be the nail haul part two. If you didn't catch part one, um, I'll link it up in the info cards and just be sure to go ahead and watch that so you can see what else I got. But so we're going to go ahead and start with the video. So the first thing I kind of want to go into is, so for those of you who don't, who don't know, I bought a Glam House LA uh, subscription and it's the House of Supplies. That's what they call it. Um, and if you all have been looking and purchasing them from them, um, which I guess I lucked out because I really didn't even read the reviews before I bought it. Like, I didn't even bother to read the comments because they seem legit enough based upon the people who are following them and things like that. But apparently, people, a lot of people feel like they're scamming people and that they have not, like, they place orders and haven't received them for, like, two months. And although I understand the stuff in the pandemic has things slowed down, um, I think people are just more so upset they're not communicating. So for all you business owners out there, if you're going to be having a business, definitely communicate with the people who purchase things from you because that will help alleviate a lot of the stress that people have or like the upset feelings people may have about what all they're purchasing from you. So just keep that in mind. All right. So I think you're supposed to get 15 items. Um, at least what they said on their Instagram page whenever you're buying this and um, underneath the subscription box part. So it came with a set of brushes, um, a set of three brushes. And it comes with like a little fan brush, a, a angled brush, and then also one that's like kind of straight on. So let's see. Just want to fill it and see. The brush is soft enough. Um, of course, I'd have to play around with it to see whether or not I think it's a, like a decent or like a good quality brush. But it's not like rough or stiff or anything like that. I want to check the handles on these. I won't lie, these aren't the sturdiest. Like I think if you were to sit on them or like drop them or something really heavy got sat on these, they're definitely going to break. Um, so they're not the sturdiest, but they're also not the worst. And I hate when I take these things off because it's kind of like, they're so hard to get them back on. Okay. And now that that's back on, so yeah, those are the brushes. And then it also came with this like sort of manicure brush. Um, but honestly, I use these for when I'm cleaning my implements like in the barber side. And I do have a video about how to clean your implements coming soon. So you all can check that video out. Okay. And then it also came with a little nail file. Um, as you can see, it's not thick. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of... Flimsy, I don't know what grit this is. I feel like this is a 180 grit file. Yeah, it's 180. It's not rough enough or coarse enough to be 100. So this is a 180 grit file. I guess it's good for like little manicuring purposes. Then it came with three buffers. Um, So it has a smooth side and it has a rough side. This is kind of like the white ones I use. However, I think the coarse sides, my white ones are a little bit more coarse than these. Um, I want to say these maybe be, these may be like 180 and then like a two, maybe like a 240, you guys, on this side. Okay, and then next up, they also came with these little foot separators. I honestly have a bunch of these, and if you guys go on AliExpress, you can get like a pack of 50 for like, I think it's like for three or five dollars. So yeah, don't overpay for these. Okay, and then into the decals. Um, so it came with some more butterflies. And if you didn't check, check out my last nail supply glamour haul, I did order some butterflies from them. So I'm kind of stocked up on butterflies. That's great. Um, some more butterflies here. And there's just additionally some more butterflies. 
and then it came with these little glitters this is like a heart one i think i actually have one of these in a um aliexpress glitter box that i bought and then also have these they're like little flowers i guess which is kind of cool but i'm actually really excited about these ones because these are like the playboy um ones and they look like they're kind of like pastel color like they have like a little bit of pink purple maybe some orange in there white blue so i think i can definitely do something with these like in a pastel set so i'm excited about that and essentially that was all that i got from them um first impressions i feel like some of the stuff they kind of just threw in here like i don't know like i mean i get these but if it's supposed to be for nail technicians, I mean, I guess I would have liked to see, like, more decorative stuff. Like, I really think they should keep it to stuff like, um, you know, like, little decals and stuff, glitter, stuff like that. However, I do appreciate the brushes. Again, I don't think they're that great of a quality just because, you know, I do have my other brush that's like this. And this is a lot this is way sturdier. And I got this off AliExpress, you guys. And they come in a bunch of different types of styles. So just with that in mind, I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm not like mad at it. But at the same time, I just feel like it could be better. Um, I mean, I am happy to get one of these. I was actually needing to buy one. So that's great. I guess I kind of looked out on that. Um... And then I, I guess the buffers are good too. But again, I really would just like to see like more stuff like this because this is going to help you build like your nail collection, help you build to be able to have the stuff that your clients are going to want. They kind of should keep it like more of like a trendy box, like what's going on like right now with nails and what people are doing on the nails. People can have that stuff. So, but I mean, it was only $12.99. So, I mean, I kind of got a fairly decent deal. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to count back and make sure I got 15 items. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, nine, twelve, two, eleven, no, thirteen, no, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I think, it, no, this is probably a set. This is, these two are probably a set, so it's fifteen. Yeah, so I mean, I got the correct number of items. Um, I will say in regards to shipping, this actually did not get here on the exact arrival date. Um, however, um, I, at least I did get a confirmation um, email about my order and that it had been shipped. I know people haven't, some people say they haven't gotten anything at all. Um, I would say for the price, I think you get a fairly decent amount of items. Um, however... I don't know, you guys. I'm not really sure about how they're running their business, operating it. So I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not to suggest it. But I don't know. Some people who are connected with them, they seem legit enough. But you just never know. And I don't know what how valid people's claims are. But because I received my order and I received it in the month that I was supposed to, I would say go for it. It's only $12. Um, and people who are complaining really have like bought like things are like $120, $200 up. So, I mean, but it's it's a fairly decent um, subscription service, so I guess it's okay. And none of this came in a box. It just came in, like, a bubble mailer. Um, but, again, it's only $12.99, so I can understand they're trying to save money on the package and maybe you give you more stuff. So, I don't know. I'm okay with that, but, yeah. Moving on to the next thing. So, oops. I bought... This from, sorry, you guys are going to hear police sirens out in the background, but I bought this from the Nail Secret, and I have some more of these coming soon. I don't know. I guess I thought these would be bigger. It's kind of small, seeing how these are like $5, but she also had to sell for where it was like 5 It was like, um, buy one, get one half off, but I don't know. I mean, it's okay. I'm not like, I guess, upset about it. But I also know they sell these on AliExpress, and they're cheaper than that. And I think you got a couple of sheets for each one for like $3. But I just like the convenience factor to be able to have it in a decent amount of time. Because if you buy off AliExpress, it does take um, 
like it can take anywhere from like four weeks to a month, two months. It just all depends. But it is really cute, and I really wanted to have these. I want to do like a set like this. That's all. Um, uh, Nels by Rico on Instagram, and she also follow her on TikTok. And she did a really cute set with like the little, like the Louis Vuitton signs and everything like that. So I think it'd be a really cute set to do. But so far, so good. I also like she included this little bag though. I think it's really cute. And like I said, I like reusable packaging. Okay. Oh, and I also got one more thing, you guys. I also got from the Nail Secret. I got these tips from her. So she just released her. These are like the easy precision coffin tips. So she has a stiletto and these are the coffin. And I will say that with these, these are definitely going to be super easy and super fast for you to shape. Like you virtually have to do no shaping at all. Like look how coffin these are already. Like I really had to do no shaping whatsoever after the fact. Like... And they come in different sizes, so you can make them as narrow or as like um, tapered as you, narrow as a, or as like less narrow as you want it to be. Like these are probably too narrow for what I would like for this fingernail, so I would go up a size because a lot of times the base down here doesn't vary that much with the size um, before it, so that's great as well. And you can always, if something's too big, you can always file it down to get that desired shape that you want, but. I'm very happy with these. This is she's honestly, honestly I would suggest her for if you need beginner tips, go to her site. Like this is where you should get your tips from. Make stuff easy on yourself. All right, and then the next thing that I bought, so I purchased these um, glitters. So these are from ArtGlitter.com, and I got this one. This is called Arctic Glow, and it actually glows in the dark. And it's very pretty. And um, all her glitters come in different sizes. I just wanted this one in a four ounce. Not even. A one fourth, one fourth an ounce. Um, just because I didn't feel like I was going to use all of it. Okay. And then I also got this one. I actually saw the nail vibes. I saw her using this. And this, her set is actually really popular. So I honestly, once I saw that, I bought it. I just had to have it. And it's called Starlight. And you guys tell me that isn't pretty. Like, that's so pretty. And I actually already have the two swatch. So I'm going to show you all what they look like. Swatch real quick. Oops. Just give me one second. I am charging the other one just because I haven't, like, charged in a minute. But this is the... Does it not want to focus? Okay. This is the starlight color. And you guys, it's just so pretty. Like, it's just... I already see this looking so bomb on the set. It's gorgeous. And again, that's this one. And then for Arctic Glow, it's almost done. Just charging it a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna try to turn turn my studio lights down. Let's see, and you guys see that? Like that's so pretty, and you can also see it in the jar. Like it glows hella strong. You can honestly mix this and make your own powder if you want to. But I just think it's so cute. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So that, was, so that was those. Okay, and then next up, I got some Nail House. Stuff from Nail House. I honestly wanted to buy way more than what I bought. This is all I could get my hands on, y'all. People are vultures. So, first things first. Let me get this out the way. So I did buy her a liquid, the 32 um, fluid ounce liquid. 32 ounce liquid. I don't know why I said fluid ounce, y'all. But yeah, and I will say, I was really excited to get this. Um... There actually was a little bit of a complication on my order just because of the way things had to be shipped. But it was fine. She um, stayed in contact with me and answered all my questions. 
Oh, I dropped that, y'all. Anyway, sorry about that. And I would say it all, everything is great in the packaging. Um, the only thing I kind of was sad about was I actually did not receive the full amount of monomer that I was supposed to receive. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me zoom you out real quick. So if you guys can see this right here, you see how this is where the liquid line is. And technically, I think it should be up here. This is normally where people are supposed to fill things up to with caps like these. Um, it's the same thing really with um, jars as well. This is the fill line. Anything above here is extra product. So you don't have to fill it all the way up here. And I actually lost some monomer. There was um, quite a bit of it. You can see where it kind of seeped down on the sides here. Like, and it like got with the plastic on the thing. And I actually wiped it down, but there was a lot of it on the back here and then up here as well. So I did email and let her know. I was going to swatch this and like try to use it with the powders for you all today. But just because I don't know if she, I'm going to need to send this back or not, I don't want to like mess with it any further. I haven't even opened this yet. Um, but yeah, so that kind of sucks. But I mean, it wasn't a lot. So I'm just waiting to see what she says and how she decides to proceed with it. Um, but I know she was pretty nice. She, had, she has decent, um, really good customer service before. So I just have to let you guys know what happens with this. But yeah, so that kind of sucks. But just want to let you know that I actually got my liquid now. But yeah, so that happened. And I don't, I didn't see a lot of other people having an issue or anything like that. So maybe it was just me and my carrier service people and maybe how they handled it. But I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys back up here. Give me one second. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these for you. So I did go ahead and pre make my labels off camera. If you want to see how I make my labels, I do have a whole swatching video about how to make your swatches and all of that good stuff. So definitely be sure to check that out. I will put that video in the cards for you so that way you all can have easy access to it and just go ahead and just click whenever you so please. Okay, so the first one I'm going to swatch is diamond. Let me see. So the colors I did get, I got unicorn tears, which this, I was so happy I got this, y'all. This was the one, the main one I wanted and I got it. Okay, I got storm, I got new year, and diamond. Okay, so the first one I'm going to swatch is diamond. Put these where they need to go. Oops. All right. First one up is diamond. Okay. So I do like how she packages all of her uh, acrylics. Just because you see this, I like when people they put like a protector over it because this keeps stuff from spilling. I don't know. I don't. Ha I really haven't opened up her liquid. I kind of want to see if she put a like you know people put like the little film over top of their liquid bottles to make sure they don't spill out. I kind of want to see if she did that or not. Um, maybe that's why it's spilled, but I don't know yet. I, I'm kind of scared to open it, y'all, but I mean, it's on camera. It's going to be documented, so it'll be okay. But yeah, this is what it looks like. All right, and I am just using my Mia Secret monomer and my size 16 brush that I always use. You guys see it in every video. Okay, so first impressions, this is really pretty. I 
how it looked like a little it looks like a little more silver on the website but still very pretty i'm not mad at it the glitter is very fine it does get everywhere so just keep that in mind so this is probably one of those powders where i would do the other nails first and then do the glitter last just so that the glitter isn't all in my other powders so And also, just a tip, whenever you're swatching, always swatch on the underside. Please don't be that person that swatches on top. Like, you're making more work for yourself. Okay. So that's that one. And I kind of want to turn it over, but I don't want to, like, mess stuff up. But, yeah. Okay. So that's how it's looking. She's cute. She's cute. And again, y'all, that's Diamond. I'm going to put this little thing back on here. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Okay, there we go. And also, I really like how her packaging is up there. Like, most people have, like, little labels. But I think she, like, um, has these, like, lasered on. Oops, I think I got some mon rub there. I kind of messed it up, but... Yeah, so I think that's really cute how she packages her stuff. Again, packaging is everything. So next up, I think I'm going to do Storm. Let's see. Because there's Storm on the, on the brush. Okay, but yeah, there's Storm all swatched. It's kind of like a purpley yet like, I don't know, like a silvery, it's like a metallic purple slash blue colored. Even like a, like a, it looks like, like almost like some slate gray in there. But it's very pretty. See, I like it. And again, that was Storm. Okay. So I'm going to swatch this one, New Year. Or Noir. I can't remember how to pronounce this, y'all. I probably should have searched it up from starting this video, but it's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's black. And I'm also going to add, her acrylics are very buttery. Like, they're not super hard to work with. Like, Glam, I have a black color by Glam and Glitz. And it's so hard to work with, y'all. Like, it's so chalky. It's ridiculous. Like, it's so hard to blend and, like, move. I was struggling. So, I've been actually looking for a pretty good black acrylic powder since. And I think I may have found it with her, so... But yeah, like I said, it's very buttery. And no marbling. No marbling with any of these, so that's great. She mixes them very well. Okay. Okay, and then going into Unicorn Tears, I say the best for last. And also, hopefully, that I hope that you all, like, I try to do things where I know, like, I haven't seen it personally, and I want to see reviews on them, like, with the whole Glam House LA. I haven't really seen any reviews 
for them. And honestly, it's the same thing for Vanessa Nails, like her gel polish and the Valentino gel polish. And I'm looking into buying new gel polishes. So I'm thinking I am going to possibly buy their whole lines. Um, so let me know down below if you guys would want to see that. But I'm in the Marc Renew gel polish. And I know people like Madame Glam, but I don't know. I kind of feel like some everybody has. So, oops, no. Okay. Yeah, but I really like the Valentino ones. They have such pretty colors. And Vanessa Nails, it seems like her quality is really nice. And I also want clients to feel like some sort of like exclusive, like exclusivity. You gotta hang and talk. I want my clients to feel exclusive. When they come in and they like sit down in my chair like yeah well my nail tech uses you know valentino or she uses blah 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 what does your nail tech use opi like don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with opi y'all but you know just something different than the norm like i just want to stand out which i think my work does that as well but yeah and that is Unicorn Tears. Let me see if I can't get this to look a little bit better on camera for y'all. Ooh, Jesus. Y'all, hold on. I have messed up. Okay. Ooh, child. Oh, I don't know if I stated, but each of these powders, so the glitters go for $10 on her site. And then um, this one right here, that was $15. So glitters go for 10 and solid colors go for 15. But yeah, yeah, that's so pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. But, yep. So that essentially concludes this haul. Oh, no way, y'all. I said I was going to open that up and see. How she has this packaged. Let's see. I'm just doing y'all just a little bit. Okay. So I'm taking this lid off. Oh, okay. So she did, but it just was lifted up. Or it wasn't on there that well. And so it came up, and that's why it spilled out. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, and even the cap is kind of wet. So I think that's why it's built out like that. But I put it back on there tight, so yeah, those are just my thoughts. Um, so yeah, so again, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, and I'll be sure to do that. Also, let me know what you think about me doing a full review of the Vanessa Nails gel polish line once her site goes back up and the Valentino like full gel polish. Uh, like the v-line gel polish so let me know but until then i'll see you guys in the next one and y'all have a great one bye